now. England head to France today ahead of next month's World Cup with plenty of questions still to answer for Steve Borthwick's side who go into the tournament desperately lacking in form. Yeah, to look at those issues and much more, to like to say we're joined by a man who's done it all before, won the World Cup, scored in the final, absolute legend, Jason Robinson joins us live right now. Jason, brilliant to see you. I'm shocked to hear you're in a pub in St. Helens. I'm not really that shocked, but uh, fantastic to see you there, mate. Um, tell us uh, what, you, what, what you're doing today. Uh, good morning, guys. Obviously, massively excited uh, for the World Cup that's about to start. So I'm in St. Helens in one of over 900 Green King sports pubs, and they're going to be showing all the uh, live coverage of the Rugby World Cup um, and, you know, so we're looking into uh, a survey that's been done by um, Green King around manners in sport. And rugby um, has come out uh, on top of that, just ahead of cricket and football. And as we know, manners um, and respect in sport is really important. Yeah, we've actually got a, a list here of, of the top unsportsmanlike behaviours. Uh, not shaking hands is top uh, and also rugby related is talking back to the ref. You're a very nice guy, Jason. You weren't guilty of any of those, were you? Oh, de definitely not. Now, and it, it's funny because, uh, you know, from a, from a child, from grassroots rugby, it was all about calling the, uh, the referee um, sir. Um, I did that from a, a very young age all the way through. And I think it's, it's, it's massively important, not just on the field, but I think off the field as well. And, uh, you know, nobody wants to see people smashing up rackets and, and arguing with, uh, you know, referees. It's, it's, not, it's not good for sport. Well, totally agree. And uh, any youngsters watching, so important as well. You're still on your school holidays. Listen to what the man's saying. Mm -hmm. um, just want to get into England. Struggling at the moment, Jason. Losing to Fiji for the first time ever last weekend. How concerned do we need to be ahead of the World Cup? Listen, England aren't in the position they'd like to be going into a World Cup. And, um, you know, they've got a lot of work to do. They, there's some fantastic teams in the World Cup. You look at how South Africa performing, New Zealand, France, Ireland, you know, they're some of the favourites for the tournament. But for me, I, I have to look back to 2007 when we played in the, in the World Cup and we were awful. We went into the World Cup with no form whatsoever. We, we stumbled through the pool stages and, and uh, I'd have a, look, a, a good hard look at ourselves and, uh, you know, we were backed into a corner. Everybody was on our backs and we, we found a way to win. We, you know, we won in the uh, in the quarters then into the semi and played South Africa and only just lost out to South Africa in the final so I'm hoping that Steve Borthwick and the boys can fight dig deep and find something um, but I, I really believe this is going to be one of the most open World Cups there's ever been and, and I can't wait for it to start yeah us too as well we've only got about 20 seconds I'm afraid Jason but uh, you mentioned it's going to be open there who do you think are your top two favorites for this World Cup Oh, it's, it's difficult. I Just watching South Africa recently, um, they've been so, so good. Very powerful team. I think they're ones to watch. And, and you know, the hosts, France, uh, are going to be up there as well. But I, I, Ireland have just been on such a good, uh, good run of form lately. I hope it goes to a, a Northern Hemisphere team. And listen, I hope England can come back out and put everybody... Uh, put everybody, uh, surprise everybody going forward. Oh, Great we... stuff, Jason. Thank you so much, mate. Really appreciate Cheers, your guys. time. guys. Enjoy the World Cup. Thank you. We'll try. We'll try. Next up, we've got the transfer team here. Cole Palmer on the move. They'll have the latest. Sure non-stop protection. When you hit your limits, you work even harder. Sky Sports News, sponsored by Shaw Nonstop.